He became the forgotten talent because he arrived so quick and he disappeared so quick. Brilliant, Tommy Byrne. Tommy Byrne. Tommy Byrne. Tommy Byrne. Magnificent. Tommy Byrne is in a class of his own. When I was racing, I didn't think I was the best driver in the world. I knew I was the best driver in the world. True talent really stands out with Gareth Senna, Alan Prost, Michael Schumacher, and Tommy had the talent of these guys for sure. He got from nothing to Formula One in little more than four years. And you knew he was going to go places because of his prodigious talent. You just didn't know how high that elevator was going to go because of his personality. Tommy Byrne was wild. The problem is, he may have gone just too far. I just couldn't have anybody tell me what to do. Tommy's face, his personality, his background, his attitude was always going to be a difficult fit. It's going to be fun. Where there's sponsors, where there's major manufacturers involved, they don't want people that are a little bit wild like that. It's about money, to be honest. Tommy didn't have that. What could I change? Be born a millionaire with a silver fucking spoon up my ass. His contemporaries, who he'd completely blown away, were now F1 drivers earning vast fortunes. Yeah, then obviously the drinking and, you know, the, the drugs got a little bit more and I did some serious partying. The myth that Formula One sells is that the cream always rises to the top. Tommy debunks that. But nobody as good as Tommy's never not made it. There's only Tommy. You know, you said rough around the edges. He was all edge. He'd get himself into trouble now and again. If there was a gold medal for shagging, he'd have won it time and time again. And I ended up taking enough drugs to kill a buffalo. I'm lucky to be alive, I guess. You didn't get stability with Tommy Brown. You got chaos. It hasn't been a terrible life. I just lost out on about $100 million. That's all. 